Got a little space on the shelf here for all of the different generations of motors that we went through while uh, prototyping the Chimera. Started with two companies here in California. First, the New Motors. This is an Outrunner design. Really powerful motor, very cool looking, um, but a little too noisy for our tastes and allowed way too uh, much dirt and debris into it while we were riding around. So that's when we switched to an Inrunner design. This one is from Astro, well known in the DIY EV community is making excellent motors, and despite all the grit, um, this is certainly no exception. So that little motor has all centered samarium cobalt magnets and the highest power to weight ratio of anything you see on the shelf. But it was very difficult to tune with the ASI controller we wanted to use. So trying to tune it, um, you know, for both good acceleration and good top speed and reliability, just super tough. You could sort of tune it for one of those things, but not all of the above. And uh, we were still worried about it being too susceptible to water damage. So that's when we sought out a company that actually specializes in motors designed to go underwater. So they, they specialize in making um, motors for watercraft. And the first motor that we, we designed with them had a sort of similar form factor to the Astro. Um, it's 12 slots, 10 poles, and it's neodymium magnets, and it just wound up being way easier to tune with the ASI controller, you know, as an all-around great motor. Um, didn't generate too much heat, very responsive, good acceleration, good top speed. Um, this first motor that we got from them is 169 kV, and we didn't love the hall sensors on it. So the second generation that we had them make for us is 120 kV, which worked great for the, the new transmissions we had been developing at the time um, and had much better hall sensors. This motor, we prototyped with this for close to two years and it just wound up being bulletproof, you know, um, took everything we threw at it and we ran it at up to 5,000 watts. We actually ran it um, at such high powers that it was like, it was like ripping through chains. Um, so we kept everything uh, internally the same on the final version, but we made the uh, casing uh, a little more compact and the bolts, you know, better fit, uh, at least the, the bolt alignment with the, the cables better fit the design so that these cables are more out of the way. Uh, and then, of course, we switched to all waterproof, you know, Hego connector and AMAS connector. Very, very happy with the final product. You've probably heard me talking about it before, but also just really cool to see, you know, over three years of hard work sort of represented on the shelf.